The purpose of this safety video is to discuss the code of safe practices. To ensure safe procedures and operations are being followed. Employees must immediately report any unsafe conditions or practices to a supervisor and must be given frequent safety meetings. Instructions must be given at least every 10 working days. Employees under the influence of drugs or intoxicating substances must not be allowed on the job. To maintain the safety and well-being of the employees, horseplay, scuffling, and other actions are forbidden. It is not required for anyone to work when their ability or alertness is impaired by fatigue or illness. Employees are not allowed to enter confined spaces until they have been determined safe, or to enter areas that require a permit unless authorized to do so. If there is ever a problem with guards or other protective devices, employees must immediately inform their supervisors. Unless instructed by a supervisor, workers are not to handle or tamper with any electrical equipment, machinery, or water lines. Injuries must be reported to the supervisor immediately so that medical or first aid treatment can be arranged. An investigation must be conducted after every accident, and the findings must be documented. To prevent future accidents, corrective measures must be taken. When lifting heavy objects, use the large muscles of the leg instead of using the smaller muscles of the back to avoid injury. Inappropriate footwear or shoes with thin or badly worn soles must not be worn. To protect others from falling objects, materials and tools must never be thrown from buildings or structures. Employees should thoroughly clean themselves after handling hazardous substances. Cleaning with gasoline is prohibited. Any damage to scaffolds, falsework, or other supporting structures must be immediately reported to the supervisor and repaired before use. When climbing a ladder, employees must use both hands and face the ladder. The supervisor must ensure that enclosed tanks and vessels have no potential for explosion or sources of ignition. All tools and equipment must be maintained in good condition. Damaged tools or equipment must be removed from service and tagged defective. Only authorized persons may operate machinery or equipment. Employees must not work under vehicles supported by jacks or chain hoists without protective blocking to prevent injury in case the jacks or hoists fail. Thanks for watching another CMS safety video. Please like and subscribe for updates.